this is the most important part of the whole process is listen. What's up everyone, Taylor here, and today we're talking about listening to God and beginning to understand his voice. Because if you can do that, it will absolutely change your life. And hey, if you want more Christian content on how to grow your faith, hit subscribe and go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps get the video out. And if you subscribe during this video, comment and let me know. I subscribe, put that in there and I'll be sure to write back to you. That's enough, let's jump right on in. First Samuel 3.10, if you the story of Samuel, he was hearing God, he kept hearing his name, but he didn't believe or know or was taught how God speaks. So he kept running to Eli saying, Eli, what is it? And Eli said, I think God's trying to talk to you. So say, here I am, your servant is listening. And then Samuel stopped and he listened. And when God spoke again, then the understanding came, right? So like Samuel, we have to learn the how and how to say, here I am, I'm listening, God and know how to listen. So that word listen, this is this is the important part. If you could get one thing today, this is the breakdown. This is what happens. This is the most important part of all of it. Remember that verse in Job. It says, Job 33, 14. It says, for God speaks in one way and in two, though man does not perceive it. Remember I showed you 12 different ways. So he's saying, I even speak in two different ways, right? More. The word perceive right here in this verse, it's this Hebrew word, uh, sure, and it means to see something, behold it, but it means actually to observe it, to watch it, to wait around it, and to inspect it. So that it's like a car inspection. You're looking around your engine to see what could have gone wrong. That's what this word means. And so God's saying, I am speaking, but man is not recognizing it. I'm speaking, but people are not inspecting it to see what I'm trying to say, right? So this is a proper picture of listening. It, listening is not waiting and saying, well, if God wants to speak, he knows where I am. Listening is getting out that telescope to look and say, where is he speaking? I know he is speaking. I'm assuming he's talking because the Bible says he is. Let me find it. Are you looking for his voice? And are you inspecting all the little ways he could be talking to you if not, you're not going to understand. But if you are, that's the bridge into beginning to understand. So God is speaking in multiple ways, but no one's traveling around it, inspecting it, watching for it. And that's what Samuel did to start to hear God's voice. And if you notice, Samuel, Moses, David, Gideon, all these people in the Bible, God speaks, but he waits to see for them to turn and listen before he reveals the rest. So often he might be putting burning bushes in your life, but he's waiting to see for you to turn and look at him. And in the inspection of him, he begins to talk. So that's the key. So you see, there's this huge gap between hearing and understanding. And we we're like, well, I can't hear and I can't understand. But the truth is, like Daniel said, he said, I heard, but I did not understand. That's the truth. There's this gap here. And the, the part of the gap is listening. That's how you clear the gap. And listening, by and listening, I don't mean just with your ears. I mean inspecting, looking for, going after. It's taking a step of faith saying, I sense this thing. So the hearing would be like, I had a dream or had a vision or someone gave me advice or I saw something or I feel this verse. That's the hearing. Listening is I'm studying the verse. I'm going to try to ask people for advice. I'm going to look into the interpretation. I'm going to that's the studying of it. And a lot of people, they say, well, if I don't get it right away, it must not be God. And whoop, right down the cliff they go. But as you are studying it, that's when the understanding comes and you say, oh, that was just me. That wasn't God. Or, oh, that was just a coincidence. Or, oh, I really think this was God. And I get confirmations that this is the Lord. He's speaking to me. So the listening, that's the process of taking the jump, of learning, of inspecting, of doing the work to, to see how God is speaking to you. Pause here real quick. I want to let you know I have a five free videos on how to hear God's voice for you. It's a devotional teaching. You can get that absolutely free. Make sure to read the descriptions below. It's also, you can hit the tag right up here and I'm going to send that right over to you, okay? Hope you enjoy it. Let's go right back into the teaching. All right, so the last part is understand. So it says this in Psalms 14, 2, that the Lord looks down from heaven to see if there's any who understand, who seek after God. Notice this, God's not looking. He says he's not looking uh, for those who can hear him because everyone can hear him. He's looking for those who understand him. And those who understand are what? Are those who seek 
after God. He's like, I'm looking for those who understand. And the only ones who understand are going to be the seekers, the listeners. So he's scanning. He's like, I gave the same amount of words to everyone, but I'm trying to find those who, who made it across the cliff to understanding because they seek after me. So the way we begin to understand, when we understand something, we start to see three things. We, we start to understand whether it was God speaking, whether it was just me, or whether it was the devil. Let me give you an example. Uh, like Joseph has a dream in the Bible. And we, when we have dreams, because God says in Job's, he talks to people in dreams. And it's just hard to argue that because he says it in the Bible and he does it all throughout the Old and New Testament, right? So let's say you have a dream. How do you know if it's God or you or the devil? Uh, well, when we listen it, we talk to people about it, we interpret it, we go after it, we see there's biblical truth in here. I think God might be saying something to me, right? And your community and your people in your life and all these people are like, yeah, I think that's God, right? And and I give you in my Bible class, I give you uh, filters and foundations to know if it's you or God or not. But as you as you listen, you might be like, oh, that was me. That was weird pizza I ate. That that was just me, right? That's possible. Or you might be like, that was a nightmare. That was an attack from the enemy. That was not God, right? And then you start to, as you as you listen to the dream, you start to see, and then an understanding comes. That was the devil. That was me, or that was God. And another way you can know is actually by judging the fruit gives you understanding. When you look back on the fruit, is it really good fruit? then there's a good chance it was from God. Do you feel close to God? Is there truth? Does it bring you closer to community and people? And is the fruit from the Holy Spirit or is the fruit really bad? If that dream gave you fear and anxiety and that's all not God. So that also, when you judge the fruit, it gives you understanding to know whether it was God or not. So the tricky part about learning to hear God's voice, this is where people get hung up is they don't have time. And I get it. I spent 10 years traveling the world I spent a lot of time trying to learn about this, right? They don't have the time, so they feel they don't know what to do. And the other thing is Bible searching because, yeah, they people don't know the Greek and the Hebrew and, and studying all that. And I, I was blessed that I, I got a lot of teachings in this area from all over people around the world. And the next thing is they don't have a teacher. So maybe they do find it. Maybe they have the time. They're seeking the Bible, but they have questions. And they're just like, I don't know what to do about that. Like, I don't know what that means. I don't know how to practically apply that. And usually a breakdown in one or two of these keeps people from hearing God's voice. So that's the part where I hope you got a lot from those, those three principles. Bring them up and you can get a lot from those right away. So what would your life look like if you knew finally how God speaks back to you? You know, that. That's the big question. Hey, I hope that teaching from my webinar was helpful for you. If you want to watch the first half of the video, click this one over here. And if you want to watch the full thing, click this one right over here.